Keeping your leisure batteries topped up can often be critical to an enjoyable time in your van. In the past we've talked about how you can use solar to do this, but another method that can be used is charging from the van's alternator whilst you drive. Often called split charging, one way to do this easily and safely is to use a voltage sensitive relay or VSR. I've always been staggered at the price of these in the UK, considering all that they are is a chunky relay and a few electronics. So when Banggood asked me to try out theirs at a much more reasonable price and having some added functionality to the basic ones, I thought, why not? So stick around while we have a quick review of what a VSR is, how it works and try this one out. Don't forget to check out our other videos on everything campervan and motorhome related, from solar to water, heating to gadgets, tyres to trips. If you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up. It really does help me to know what you like, and you can ask any questions or give feedback in the comments. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos, please hit the subscribe button and clicking the bell will give you a notification when a new video goes live. Finally, if you do decide to hit the thumbs down, it would be great if you could also leave a comment so I'd know what you didn't like. In full disclosure, Banggood have provided us with this VSR for free. We've not been paid to produce this video and Banggood have no editorial control over what we say. As always, we're keen to give a fair and unbiased view of the product to help you guys to decide if it's the right thing for you. One thing to remember is that split charging won't work with a smart alternator. So if you have a more modern van that has one, you will need to look at a battery to battery charger as an alternative to split charging. If you are not sure if you have one, after letting your van run for 10 minutes, measure the voltage at the battery. And if you're seeing 12.5 to 13.5 volts, the chances are you have a smart alternator. If it's 14 volts plus, then you probably have a traditional alternator. The primary use of a VSR is to allow you to add charge to your leisure battery while you are driving, without risking flattening your starter battery. VSRs trigger at a certain voltage. As you can see, this one is set to 13.3 volts and disconnects at 12.8 volts. Let's take a look at the principle of what a VSR does. The VSR is connected between the two positive terminals of the starter and leisure battery. The cable needs to be sized for more than the expected current and a fuse for less than the maximum current of the cable fitted at each battery connection. Both batteries need to be connected to a common negative, usually the van body, as does the low current negative wire on the VSR. This is only used to power the brains of the VSR so don't panic that it's much thinner cable. If both batteries are below the cutting voltage, the battery's positives are not connected by the relay. If one of the batteries increases above the cutting voltage, for example the starter battery when the engine is running, the relay closes connecting the batteries together and allowing current to flow from the starter to the leisure battery, enabling it to be charged. When the engine is stopped and the voltage drops below the cutoff threshold, the relay disconnects, stopping the charging. As most VSRs work in both directions, if we charge the laser battery by mains or solar, once the voltage is high enough, the VSR will connect and enable the starter battery to be charged. With traditional VSRs, if you want to manually override the connection, you can add a switch in the negative feed to the VSR, as disconnecting this will disconnect the relay. However, should you want to, you can't force the relay to connect when both batteries are below the cutting voltage. We'll see how the more advanced version we're trying enables this. As you can see, this VSR has a built-in voltage meter showing the reading for the highest voltage battery connected. When the relay isn't active, this is off to save power, but can briefly be switched on by tapping the button. So currently the voltage at the highest battery is 12.7 and the red LED isn't lit indicating that the batteries are not connected together. We can verify this here on our solar control panel which shows the leisure battery is 12.4 volts and here on the voltage meter for our starter battery which shows 12.8 volts. Now I'm going to go and start the engine and let's see what happens. As you can see, the alternator is increasing the voltage at the starter battery. 
and the relay senses this and connects, indicated by the LED light. We can see the current is reaching the leisure battery as the voltage here is increased and using our current clamp meter we can see that 3.5 to 4 amps is flowing to the leisure battery. I've now stopped the engine and I've applied some load to drop the battery voltages down. And as you can see, to protect the batteries, the relay has reset and disconnected them. And I'm now going to switch on our mains leisure battery charger. We can see that the voltage of the leisure battery is increased above the relay threshold. So again, the relay connects, this time allowing the starter battery to be charged by the mains charger. So we can see the voltage of the starter increasing and right now around 6 amps are flowing. And we can see this is in the opposite direction towards the starter battery indicated by the negative symbol. This also works the same if the leisure battery is being charged by solar. Now let's say that even though the leisure battery is charged, I don't want the excess power going to the starter battery. All I have to do is hold the button on the VSR for 3 seconds and it switches from automatic to manual mode, indicated by the blue LED. I can then just tap the button and as you can see the relay connects and disconnects as I require. This also works the same if both batteries are below the threshold. Holding the button for 3 seconds again switches it back to automatic. So hopefully we've shown you how useful a VSR can be to keep both your leisure and starter battery charged up. Having put this particular one through its paces, it's clear that it's well priced and the added functionalities of manual override and the voltage meter are great features. You can see a link to it in the video notes. Thanks for watching our video and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share and consider subscribing.